Melvin here, and I'm gonna be taking you through my push there. So without any further delay, let's make sure to hit the subscribe button, share, like. You get what I'm saying? I appreciate you so much. So let's get into it. So as a beginner, when you're benching on the incline, you gotta make sure it's 90 degrees. So if you don't know what it is, right? 90 degrees is always way up. It doesn't matter the chair. Three, count one, two, three. The third one, that's where you put it.
you guys didn't understand what was going on for the beginners if you want to focus in your chest you want to have an arch almost like a, a little pencil in between your shoulder blades then you retract your scapular and pinch that shoulder blade together like as if you have an imaginary pencil in between them and then you want to keep a little vacuum in your abdominals have that air and push because you're focusing on building a beautiful physique you're trying to picture what you want your body to look like so keep that contraction stroke like this you want to imitate this movement have your your chest do the work and not your arms not your triceps not your shoulders make sure it's your chest doing the actual movement so one more thing Outer show is a poor substitute for inner work. It doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. All that matters is what you feel or what you are inside. You get what I'm saying? Be respectful. Be good. Be happy. And trust me, in life, like, look at this. You are nothing but what you tell yourself. So I see many people, they say they're shit. They talk down on yourself. Trust me, it doesn't make you better. You get what I'm saying? Talk good about yourself. Reward yourself with good affirmations. Tell me what you're working towards. Don't tell me what you are. If you are something that's not positive, don't say it. Don't confess it. Don't say that I am this. You get what I'm saying? Don't say I'm a loser. Don't don't confess that shit into your life. You get what I'm saying? Even when I was fat, I was saying I'm working on getting fit. That's what I want you to tell me. Tell me what you're working towards getting. Don't tell me about what you are not. So... Back to the building of chest. If you're gonna be hitting the incline, you wanna have it on 90 degree angle. Make it on a 90 degree angle so you can be able to feel the contraction on your upper chest and pulse at the bottom when it's more stretched. Some people might need to fully extend because they haven't learned the contraction. If you're a beginner, you would need to fully, uh, fully stretch your muscle out. But if you're a pro, you can keep the 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 contraction at where it's more harder you don't need to fully stretch or make them touch each other to be able to grow that massive chest keep the contraction and just pulse at the bottom you get what i'm saying and slowly come down the slower you can the more tension that's on your chest and love you all be the best you that you can be because you deserve it
YBH.
Hold my feelings. I don't care if you like it, it's easy. You ain't even gonna stop that hole. I just told my soul. I'm not gonna stop. Go to Cavalli, you're not on the word. Pretty girl, make her tell you one thing. See, see, pretty girl. Now listen to me, girl. You give us something that we're here to know. Take it down. She's so sharp and so sure, girl. She just got some mother and in two. Take it down. Girl, I must not confess to you. So beautiful, I'm better than the first Crazy now, she gorgeous and so beautiful When you look into her eyes, when I tell you don't be fall asleep Yo, make a let ya feed over the life We shall now your friends blow me brain Boom, tell you now Break you know the fool and all the burden Need a break you now, be hard you now So do my baby, please Do they give another man Do they give another man my body Do they give another man So let me tell you some crazy story. You get what I'm saying? About life, what I did been through, like what I've actually done in this life. I'm talking about this fitness stuff. So there was a time, right, that I moved location, and at that time I didn't have a car. So I used to live closer to the gym, right? But I didn't have a car when I moved this look to this new location. So at this new location, my house was two hours 30 minutes away from the gym and I'm looking at myself I'm getting out of shape I'm not living up to my standards I'm feeling sad I'm feeling unhappy because something's not right you get what I'm saying so guess what I legit did I woke up stopped feeling sorry for myself and I walked that two hours 30 minutes in the middle of the cold right in the middle of that winter storm, I came in with frozen, actual frozen hands, frozen ears, frozen everything. But when you get this, that's not even the worst part. It's when you get to the gym, right? All that blood starts to flow, and now it gives you an unbearable scratch or itch that makes you want to rip your skin off. That's what I did because of the love of this fitness. I say that to believe. I say that to tell you that you are unstoppable. If you want a way, you will find a way. I promise you. You just gotta believe in yourself and take a chance in yourself. If there's anyone that deserves anything, it's you. But like, it doesn't matter who, you don't need no sun to rise, you don't need nothing. You don't need nobody. You will make your own way. You would have a dream and you will see it true. You are unstoppable. You can look better than you ever thought. Keep making yourself proud. Keep going, keep doing more. That's who you are. You're a warrior. You're a savage. So, this is a different variation of thighs, right? You chest out, you open your lats, keep your, 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 your chin up, and just move your chest. Flex, almost like a crab most muscular, but you're not trying to have your trap be involved. I'm going to show you.
the key to triceps is you want to lock your elbow in one place, right? And flex the tricep, extend. Make sure once your 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 bicep, your forearm touches your bicep, you push down and stretch completely out. Add a slight twist like this, and push all the way and extend. You want to make sure your biceps are not getting engaged, right? You don't want to have your traps take over either. So you want to chest out and push down, extend, extend. I'm going to show you an example of what that looks like. But make sure chest out, pushing down. As soon as the bicep stroke, uh, the bicep touches the forearm, you push down. And then extend, extend, and extend. For the face pulls, you're trying to pretend like you're hitting a back double biceps. You want to stretch completely out and then retract your scapula. Almost like you're flexing a back double biceps. Stretch completely out and retract your scapula. So the key to building that bone the shoulder with the lat raises is first chest out like I told you and now open slight bend on your elbow like that and push with your shoulders.
keep a little bit of a vacuum and slight bend the, sh the elbows and just open up, breathe in, breathe out. You know what I'm saying? The moment you come down, you want to make sure it comes to shoulder width apart. Don't go above this. Keep it right here. So slowly open up, keep your chest out and just here. And that's how you hit your shoulders. Make a fire, you go down, die a more. 